New developments tonight in the high school football hazing investigation that we first reported three weeks ago. Montgomery High School parents and the community asking for more answers at a school board meeting. Channel 2's Bill Barajas was there and joins us live from Montgomery tonight. Bill? Well, the hazing allegations weren't even on the agenda tonight, but it only took parents about 10 minutes before they asked for transparency from the school board. I want to know what leadership actions are being taken. The theme tonight was clarity. Parents and community members asking the board to be open with them. And this really hurts me. This has resulted in a lot of pain. I know everybody in here knows that. Bill Chilko, a former basketball coach at Montgomery High School, says the hazing allegations first reported about three weeks ago through a district tip line have divided the community. There's not a lot of people sitting on the fence right now. Uh, people are, are, are definitely taking sides. And just before the meeting, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office releasing more information, confirming they executed a search warrant and seized four phones. Some parents were upset, calling the actions of some unfair to those not involved. This woman says she worries about her son's scholarship. Don't lump in two to four kids and tell me 45 of them are to blame for it. So I would just appreciate if we could kind of cool the rumors and figure out what you want to do. But punishing a whole for an individual, it just seems crazy to me. A lot of great kids are involved in this, and uh, it's unfortunate for them and for their community. And uh, some community members were worried about this week's uh, football game, but so far no announcement has been made. Live in Montgomery County, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Bill.